Please come forward. We are a Year 10 Geography class from Canterbury... We are a Year 10 Geography class from Canterbury Girls Secondary College. We were asked to do two things. One, to use a hidden park application at a local park and two, to discuss and research how young people might use parks in the future. We went to Wattle Park in Burwood to create our trails for the Hidden Park app. We split into four different groups and each group concentrated on a specific area of the park. When we finished marking the points and taking the photos, we sent our work to New York to be checked and for the alternative reality to be added. In a few days, the trails were uploaded onto the app. These slides show one of the finished trails and the map shows where the features are located. We are now going to show you a short video of us creating the trail. We took photos of various features such as trees, the pond, a flagpole and a tram. We found it quite easy to follow the instructions as the app told us how many points to include. Because we are a geography class, we also used an aerial photo to map where we went. Back at school, we discussed and researched four questions about our use of parks. One, what facilities or services would you like to see at the parks? Two, how would you like to interact with the parks in the future? Three, would technology assist you in using parks? And four, is it appropriate for technology to be used in parks? We brainstormed in groups and came up with a list of facilities and services that could be offered in parks. We decided that the best way to find out what young people thought was to survey a group of 13 to 19 year olds. We asked three questions and our results were, question one, what facilities would you like to see in parks? The top three were picnic and barbecue areas, shared walking and bike tracks, and outdoor cinemas. Question two. What do you think the roles of park rangers should be? The top three results for this question were equal first, maintenance of the park and well-being of visitors. And third, the preservation of flora and fauna in the park. Question three, if technology such as iPhones could show what was available in the park, would you use it or do you think it would ruin the natural experience? 27 out of 44 said it would assist them, but 17 thought it would ruin the experience. We were quite surprised by this result. The second question we looked at was how we would like to interact with parks in the future, particularly considering the use of technology. We could look up information about flora and fauna in the park, families can use apps such as the Hidden Park for Family Recreation, and podcasts could be downloaded from the internet. This could be available for both iPhones and iPods. Seeing as most young people still do not own iPhones, podcasts are still an easier way for teenagers to access information. The advantages of using technology are numerous and include 
You can upload information and apps quickly and easily while in the park. It is environmentally friendly, as it doesn't use paper. You can play video games. You can play games on iPhone while getting some exercise and fresh air. Would you want the opportunity to create your own information about parks on a social network? The internet is the easiest way to get information out to the public. Park events could be advertised on a social network. Teenagers would be more likely to access information this way. This is a summary of our findings. We found that teenagers would like to see more shared walking and bike trails, picnic areas, and outdoor cinemas. Creating our trails using the iPhone app Hidden Park raised our awareness about the connection between technology and parks. We enjoy doing it, and would like an app that is aimed at our age group. The survey suggested that technology should be used to enhance our experience, but some teenagers are concerned that it might ruin the experience. Of being in the park, whilst young people would use technology in parks, there is still the question of its access and cost. Thank you. What a beautiful segue to the proposition that uh, that was posed by by Stefan. Uh, and once again, as they leave the stage, thank you very much to the Year 10 students of Canterbury Girls Secondary School.